Welcome to Blind Truth, where we shed light on the unseen dangers lurking in the world around us. Today, we're delving into a miniature yet mighty realm, the world of insects. They might be tiny, but make no mistake, these creatures pack a punch that can leave even the bravest souls reeling in pain. From stingers to biters, these twenty insects defy their size to wield serious, even deadly, consequences. Join us as we unveil the surprising truth about these tiny terrors, ones you definitely don't want to cross paths with. Stay tuned to discover the unexpected power behind these minuscule yet menacing creatures. Number 20. Centipedes. If you don't like hearing about bugs crawling on your face, maybe close your eyes for a bit. There's a bug called the house centipede. It's found in houses, but it's not really harmful. Actually, it helps by eating gross pests like bed bugs and cockroaches. Then, there are giant centipedes. They're way bigger and can eat spiders, scorpions, and even small animals like mice or bats. These big ones can bite humans and their venom can be dangerous. So, they're not just hunting small stuff. Number 19. Lice. Let's talk about lice. These bugs aren't friendly at all. They're yucky parasites that love hanging out on people, especially on their heads, and they feed on blood. Head lice are the most common type, and there are many kinds of them. They all like human blood and make themselves at home in our hair. These little bugs move from one person to another by crawling, which is why they're often found among kids in preschool and elementary school. These places are perfect for lice to move around easily from one head to another. When a female louse finds a person to live on, it lays eggs near the scalp, which we call nits. These eggs hatch in about eight or nine days, and then more lice start reproducing and laying more eggs. Before you know it, the hair is full of these pests, feeling itchy yet. Number 18. Monarch Butterfly The monarch butterfly might look pretty, but it's actually one of the most dangerous insects around. Its babies, the monarch caterpillars, are super poisonous. They eat a plant called milkweed, which has a toxin that's really bad for humans. When the caterpillar eats this plant, it stores the poison in its body, turning itself into a toxic weapon. If someone or an animal eats this poisonous caterpillar, they could get seriously sick or even die. It's the caterpillar's way of protecting itself, but sadly, it doesn't survive either. This poison is so strong that even when the caterpillar becomes a beautiful butterfly, it stays toxic. So, as tempting as it might be, it's definitely not safe to eat butterflies. It could end up being your very last meal. Number 17. The Blister Beetle Let's talk about the blister beetle. These bugs are very poisonous and can be dangerous to humans and animals, except for a few that we'll discuss later. Even though you wouldn't want to eat a beetle, some animals like them as a snack. Farm animals can accidentally eat these beetles when they're mixed up in their hay, and even a small number of crushed beetles can harm them a lot, even causing death in horses. Surprisingly, there are some animals, like spur-wing geese, that eat these beetles without getting sick. But here's the catch. When the geese eat these poisonous bugs, the toxin gets stored in their bodies. That means, even if you cook the goose, it's still poisonous to beet. Just a tiny amount of this poison can kill a person, so be really careful if you're considering eating a goose that's had these beetles. Number 16. Flea. Fleas are tiny but mighty troublemakers. They're like mass murderers among insects, second only to mosquitoes. Remember the Black Death. People thought it was caused by bad air or evil, but it was actually rat fleas spreading the disease. These fleas hitched rides on rats, passing on deadly illnesses like the plague to humans. Not only that, but fleas also spread other gross stuff like tapeworms. Pets can get fleas too which then sneak into our homes. To stop them from making more fleas, we need to treat our pets and our homes. Washing fabric stuff in hot, soapy water helps. Vacuuming everywhere, carpets, floors, even curtains, is a must. Then, using special chemicals or calling experts can really get rid of these pests. But it doesn't end there. Keeping our pets flea-free with regular treatments is important. 
Otherwise, we might have to do this whole cleaning process again. Fleas might be small, but getting rid of them is a big job. Number 15. The Assassin Caterpillar The Assassin Caterpillar might seem harmless, but it's actually incredibly dangerous. They're found in South America and carry a venom that can seriously harm humans. If their tiny spines poke you, they release venom that stops your blood from clotting. A little venom might not be deadly, but too much can cause severe damage, affecting vital organs like the brain and causing a lot of bleeding inside your body. It would take many stings to cause serious harm, but it's definitely not worth risking an encounter with these caterpillars. Number 14. The Kissing Bug Some bugs, like the kissing bug, don't just make a small bite. They bite a lot in one area, leaving many marks close together, they prefer biting around the eyes and mouth, which is why they have that name. The big problem with these bugs, besides being really gross, is that they can spread a serious disease that stays hidden in your body for a long time, sometimes 10 to 30 years, and then suddenly makes you very sick. This disease is called Chagas disease, and it's carried by a parasite that lives in the kissing bug's poop. You can only get sick if the bug bites you, has the parasite in its poop, and then the poop gets in the bite or near your eyes or mouth. It's really gross and makes me worried. These bugs are mostly in South and Central America, but there are more and more reports of them in the southern parts of North America, which is not good news at all. Number 13. The Tizzy Fly That sets fly might look harmless, but it's actually a dangerous bug. Its bite hurts a lot, and it can pass on a serious illness called sleeping sickness. This illness can make people very sick, causing them to fall into a deep sleep that can be deadly if not treated. The fly spreads this sickness through its bite, which has sharp parts that cut into your skin. Even though it's small, this fly is like a wicked character from a storybook. It doesn't choose who it harms. Number 12. Mosquito. They can give you diseases like malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus. They can be a real bother when you're outside enjoying a nice evening. But there are ways to keep them away. You can try planting things like lavender, rosemary, and sage in your yard, as mosquitoes don't like those smells. Also, get rid of any standing water in your yard, because that's where mosquitoes lay their eggs. When you're indoors, you can sleep under mosquito nets or use a plug-in repellent. If you prefer natural options, burning sage and rosemary can help too. And if nothing else works, there are bug sprays with D that can really keep those mosquitoes away. Just make sure to follow the instructions when using them. Stay safe and mosquito-free. Number 11. Indian Red Scorpion Meet the Indian Red Scorpion. While most scorpions aren't that dangerous, this one is among the few that are venomous. It's found in places like India, Sri Lanka, and Nepal. These scorpions like to hang around where kids play, and when they feel threatened, they might sting. If you get stung by an Indian red scorpion, brace yourself for some not-so-fun symptoms. Serious pain, sweating, throwing up, struggling to breathe, changing blood pressure, a racing heart, and it can even be deadly by affecting your heart and lungs. It's a good idea to stay clear of them. Number 10. The Death Stalker Scorpion the Death Stalker Scorpion isn't something to take lightly. It's found in places like North Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. Even though its bite might not kill you, it's extremely painful. Kids need more medicine to recover from its sting than adults do. Surprisingly, the venom of this scorpion is super valuable because it's used in important cancer treatments. It's really hard to get, which is why it's so expensive. So... While it's dangerous, its venom is doing some amazing things in medicine. Number 9. The Black Widow Spider The Black Widow Spider is super famous. It has a scary name and does some weird stuff after mating. These spiders are poisonous, but they're not really out to get us. They can kill, but it's not as common as you'd think. Here's the scoop. Female Black Widows are kind of loners, except during mating time when they get together with a male. But here's the kicker. After mating, she might just eat him. Yikes. So, why should we steer clear of these spiders, even if we're not spiders ourselves? 
their bite packs a punch. It's like 15 times stronger than a rattlesnake's bite. If a black widow bites you, it can make you really sick, nausea, muscle pain, and even make it hard to breathe. But here is the good news. Deaths from these bites are rare. They don't bite unless they have to, mostly in self-defense. Kids, older folks, or people who aren't feeling well are more at risk. But seriously, even if you're none of these, it's best not to mess with a black widow. They're not into nonsense, and poking them isn't polite. Number 8. The Brazilian Wandering Spider The Brazilian Wandering Spider is known as one of the most venomous spiders in the world. It doesn't make webs to catch food. Instead, it roams the forest floor at night looking for prey. While it mostly eats other spiders and insects, it can also snack on mice, reptiles, and amphibians. If it feels threatened or surprised, it might bite. The bite can cause a lot of pain, sweating, and other symptoms like high or low blood pressure, fast or slow heartbeat, stomach pain, dizziness, blurry vision, and more. The reaction depends on how much venom gets into the body. But here's the good news. If someone gets bitten and gets medical help fast, the doctors can usually help with antivenom. Nowadays, doctors can do amazing things to treat these bites. Number 7. The Brown Recluse Spider The Brown Recluse Spider is one of the most poisonous spiders in the United States. They're mostly found in the western and southern states, but they can be in other places too, like Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska. They're sometimes called violin or fiddleback spiders because of their body shape. These spiders have a really bad bite that can destroy skin and cause big wounds that take a long time to heal. These wounds can get infected, and that's what can make someone very sick or even cause death. But it's important to know that deaths from these spider bites are rare. Still, it's smart to be really careful around them. Number 6. Ticks Ticks are small bugs that can cause big health problems. They're really risky, and it's best to stay away from them. Some ticks, like deer ticks, can give people a sickness called Lyme disease. Lots of folks get sick with this every year. Lyme disease starts with a bite that looks like a target on your skin. Then come symptoms like fever, headaches, and later on, issues with joints and even the heart. Most people don't die from it, but it can make you feel awful for a long time. Ticks spend most of their lives outdoors. Even though they live for a few years, they only feed on animals a few times in their whole life. When they hatch from eggs, they're tiny larvae that feed on small animals like mice. After that, they'll find a warm body, maybe even yours, to grab a meal from. They don't really care whose body it is. If they pick up Lyme disease from an animal, they can pass it to you with just one bite. When they're adults, they mate and spread diseases around. Number 5. The Bullet Ant The bullet ant is an insect known for having the most painful sting in the world. Their name comes from the fact that getting stung by one feels like being shot by a bullet. They live in tropical rainforests and usually mind their own business without bothering anyone. They don't attack unless they feel threatened. But if you do make one angry, it calls for backup and a bunch of them will sting you. This chemical signal brings all their friends to join in the sting party. So, if you're exploring the rainforest, watch where you put your hands and feet. Getting stung by a bullet ant is no joke. People describe the pain as really intense, like an electric shock that keeps coming in waves for a whole day. So, it's best to steer clear of these little guys. Number 4. Fire Ants Fire ants are like super annoying ants. When they invade your garden or march into your kitchen, you know trouble's coming. They're tiny and tough to get rid of once they settle in. Fire ants are the worst. They bite and it hurts. If you've ever accidentally sat on an ant nest, you know how painful their bites can be. These ants are different from regular ones because they have a dangerous weapon. They sting hard and even spray acid when they feel threatened. It's nasty and can cause a lot of pain and irritation on the skin. If they get really angry and spray enough acid, it can even be deadly. Number 3. 
The Asian Giant Hornet The Asian Giant Hornet is a really scary insect. Some people call it the murder hornet because it's so dangerous. These hornets are a big problem for bees. They hunt down beehives and attack them. They send out worker hornets to find the hives and mark them with a smell so they can come back later with more hornets to destroy the whole colony. They can kill thousands of bees in just a few hours. If they sting you, it hurts a lot. People say it feels like being stabbed by a hot needle. The pain stays for days and the sting swells up and hurts for a long time. It's not a fun experience at all. Number 2. Bed Bugs You might have heard scary stories about bed bugs in hotels. They're a big problem in New York City, even in fancy hotels. These tiny bugs hide in cracks and under mattresses, waiting to bite when people are asleep. Their bites are itchy and uncomfortable. They can even sneak into your luggage and come home with you. To get rid of them, you might need professional help. Some ways to deal with bed bugs include vacuuming every day, using a hot dryer for infested items, or freezing them. Steam cleaning might work too, but sometimes getting rid of your mattress and even your house might be necessary to completely remove them. Number 1. Baboon Spiders Let's talk about baboon spiders. Baboons can be a bit mean, right? Well, these spiders are kind of related to tarantulas. They're large, hairy, and have scary-looking fangs, like the ones you see in Halloween cartoons. You can find them all over Africa, in places like grasslands, woodlands, and dry areas. They make their homes underground, digging burrows under rocks and other places. Those big fangs help them dig. But here's the thing. If you bother them, they might bite you. Their bite can be pretty painful, and their venom isn't fun either. It's like a warning to stay away. It could hurt for a few days. So, it's probably smart not to bug these spiders or any others like them. Tell me in the comments below. Don't forget to look at the other cool stuff popping up on the screen, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.